What's going on YouTube? I am back with another video and in this one we have a PSA submission reveal. This was an economy submission that was sent about three weeks to a month ago and it just returned. As you can see, it is a pretty small submission. I believe it is a six card order. So uh, the, the reveal is not gonna take too long. Uh, so I figured since this is probably gonna be a little bit of a shorter video, I would take a minute and go over all of my PSA submission information. Uh, PSA recently uh, changed around some of their like submission names instead of like economy, they switched to uh, I think like value plus and then they changed around their prices. So I figured I would take this opportunity to go over uh, some of the details of my submission and address some of the questions that I get asked uh, you know, a lot. So before we do get into that submission reveal, let's just go over a little bit of the information about the uh, PSA submissions that I offer. So I did go ahead and print off the form that you can find on my website, which is 502frank.com. Uh, that should pretty much always be linked down below in the description. So uh, bulk value economy and regular submissions now offered. I do need to change that because again, they did recently change uh, from economy to I believe value plus. Uh, it's really kind of confusing. I don't really understand why they did what they did. They added uh, value bulk, value, and then value plus. I, I really don't understand why they made it so confusing with the different values and all of the you know the uh, declared values are all the same at 499. But we'll get into all that a little bit later. Um, so I get the question all the time is when is your next PSA submission due date? I do not have uh, due dates for PSA. As it says here on the form, I send uh, orders to PSA as soon as I receive 25 cards. You can check how many cards I have received on the mail received spreadsheet, which there is a link to that, which is also on my website. Uh, so for SGC, I do have due dates. For PSA, I do not have due dates. And that was typically about every two weeks, I would get 25 cards. This last week, since PSA did reduce their price, uh, and they added that value bulk uh, option at around like 20 bucks. Uh, I got like close to probably 100 cards last week. So I would guess going forward, I'm probably going to be sending a PSA on a weekly basis. So again, if you're ever interested to see, uh, you know, how much I have, you can always reach out and ask and ask if I'm going to be sending soon. You can check the spreadsheet or, you know, just know it's probably really not gonna be more than two weeks ever uh, going forward. So uh, if you guys wanna read all the information on the form, you can definitely check it out. I just want to address the different uh, service options and the price points. So um, an important uh, thing here on the form is to circle one of the options that you want. Now you can use one form for different, uh, say you wanna send some at value bulk and you wanna send one or two at regular, just mark it on the form, that's not a big deal. I get that question some, do you have to send two forms? You do not have to send two forms. Just make sure you mark it on uh, the form, but at least uh, mark or circle something. Uh, sometimes from time to time I will get these forms and there's just nothing marked and then it just takes time for me, I have to contact you and say, hey, what level did you want? Um, so anyway, the different services we offer are value bulk, which are both sports and TCG. It does have to be from 1980 to uh, present. They do offer submissions for pre-1980, but I just don't offer them personally, uh, just because I very, very rarely do I get people who are interested in sending pre-1980 cards. So I just don't offer that service. Honestly, uh, with shipping to and from PSA, I would just be losing money if I did that. So I don't offer those. Uh, so value bulk again is sports and TCG. Uh, it is $20 if you do not want evaluation. It is $23 with. Again, the maximum declared value is $499. And you must submit at least five cards because I do have a minimum limit or a minimum amount that I have to submit with the value bulk. So you have to do at least five cards there. Um, and then the value also sports and TCG. Again, 1980 to present. That is going to be... $26 for no evaluation, 29 with. Again, maximum declared value, 499. So really the only difference I can really see in value bulk and value is maybe you only have you know, one to four cards you wanna submit or you want them back a little bit quicker. And then we have value plus, which uh, in my opinion, I guess kind of took the place of economy. So that is gonna be $40 per card. Uh, evaluation is included and wipe 
uh, you know, if you want that. Maximum declared value is still $499. So that's just gonna be, uh, you know, I haven't submitted any yet at Value Plus, but in my opinion, that would just be a little bit quicker than value and value bulk. Um, and if you have anything that you think is gonna be over that $499 declared value, you gotta go up to regular, which is 75. Now you don't have to, you know, if you if you get upcharge, you can just take the upcharge. It's not a big deal. I get upcharge all the time. Uh, but if you do want to avoid the upcharge, uh, you can submit at regular, which is $75 per card, evaluation, wipe, and card savers are included. So note, card savers are included for regular. Uh, other than that, if you don't send them in card savers, it is 50 cents per card per card saver. And the maximum declared value there is $14.99. So that pretty much covers everything. I just wanted to take this opportunity since this uh, submission is a smaller one to go over some of those details. PSA, you know, again, recently changed their prices and options. So I uh, thought that was a good opportunity to address that. And now let's go ahead and get into this submission. This one I think was the very last economy submission that I submitted before they changed to value plus. So uh, these were sent, I believe at $50 per card. There were a couple upcharges in here. Uh, I think the declared value on these was $9.99 at the time. So first up, uh, we have a Jackie Chan, uh, definitely a, a unique one here. This is uh, the first Jackie Chan card I have ever submitted. I can definitely say that. Uh, this one didn't grade super well, but uh, I'm not sure they were really looking for a great grade here. Probably just wanted to get it slabbed up. Uh, so this one is out of 2008 Donruss Jackie Chan Stars Signature. This one did get a six. So uh, again, not really too sure what they were looking for here. It is numbered at 25. I'm guessing they just wanted to get it slabbed up. Again, uh, that one got a six. Uh, but we do have a really, really nice one here. This was not actually one of the ones that got upcharged. A little surprising. Uh, of all the cards in the submission, uh, the two that did get an upcharge, one is a little bit questionable, uh, but this one I honestly would have expected to get upcharged. Not really too sure the value, maybe I'm totally off, uh, but this is a really nice one here. And I believe, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's actually on card. So this is out of 2019 Hoops Premium Stock John Morant Hot Signatures, and this one did get a 10. So this is a really, really nice card. John Morant stuff is very, very hot. I saw I think last night he actually had an insane dunk, probably the dunk of the year, where he just took it like way back and uh, basically crammed on someone. Uh, but really nice one here, PSA 10, John Morant Auto, can't go wrong there. Uh, next up, we have a nice Cade Cunningham. This one is out of Optic, uh, but this one is a sticker, so not the uh, not the rated rookie um, auto. That This one does have a stick uh, sticker. So Signature Series, this one did get a PSA 9, and that one is blue, so that one's going to be numbered to 25. So a really nice Cade Cunningham there. And then we have another John Morant. This one is also out of Hoops Premium Stock, and this one is the Flash and is that one i think that one's on card as well uh but this one did get a nine so uh you know still john morant on card auto psa nine very nice there now these two the last two cards in this mission are both of the cards that got an upcharge this one i thought was a little bit questionable um because as you see the grade there is an eight now obviously joe burrow is playing very very well uh his, his uh prices are are pretty high pretty strong right now uh, but to get an upcharge on a PSA 8, I mean, you're not really sending these cards. You're hoping for at least a 9, and, you know, if you get a 10, that's awesome. Uh, but to get an 8 and an upcharge, I mean, that's just like a punch in the stomach. I, I've talked about it many, many times before. I hate, hate the upcharges. I think, uh, you know, it's just the dumbest thing. Uh, but, uh, you know, you, got, you just got to deal with it. PSA is king. Uh, you know, their PSA 10s go for that premium. So unfortunately, you just got to deal with it. You just got to take it if it comes. Uh, so PSA 8 here on the Joe Burrow Contenders Optic. That one is to 99. So still obviously very, very nice card. Uh, but PSA 8 there. And then this one also got an upcharge. This one is um, out of Contenders. And this one is a 2. I don't believe that one's numbered. Uh, but it is a variation up there. And this one did get the 10. So uh this one, the, the upcharge, I, I feel like is justified here. We got a PSA 10. Uh, it's a two uh, rookie contenders. This is a, a pretty big card. Uh, Joe Burrow, a little bit iffy. So uh, anyway, the, the two card, the 
uh, two last cards in this mission are the ones that got the upcharge. So anyway, very, very nice cards in this one. Uh, you can tell the difference in some of like the bulk and value submissions compared to this one. Uh, a little bit higher uh, value cards here. So hopefully you guys did enjoy seeing those. If you guys have uh, any questions on the PSA submissions, feel free to uh, reach out to me on Instagram at 502 Frank. Uh, and again, the form and all the information you need are on my website, 502frank.com. Hopefully you enjoyed it and I will see you soon.